my people, it's Tack. Today we got the Cold Steel Trailmaster. Now this is the newer version. I do have the old SK-5 version. This is made of 01 tool steel. Overall length, 14 and a half inch. The blade length is nine and a half. The weight is 16.7 ounces. Like I said, the steel is 01 tool steel and the handles are made of Kryton. The retail on this one is 250 bucks and you can usually find them for about $140. Give you a couple close-ups on this thing. Here's your Kryton handle. Yeah, the shape ain't totally cool, but it seems like it's got a lot of good traction on it. There's your lanyard hole. It's got a little hand guard. I like these old school hand guards on them. Now the thickness, man, this thing is a beast. It is 5 16 of an inch thick. Now don't mind all the goo on there, I just didn't get all the grease off of it. But it's a clip point with a full flat grind. I like full flat grinds. They seem to work really good for baton. Big O swedge up top. So here's the sheath for it. The Secure X sheath. A lot of eyelets, slits for different lashing options. I like how they did this here. So you can raise or lower it depending on what height you want it. It's got the button snap there. And it does hold it in with friction. Uh, let's check for rattle. Eh, tiny, tiny bit. Not too bad. Comes up very easily. Oh yeah. Initial sharpness time. <laughs> Sham on. Let's do it. Big full flag grind. Now this thing is a beast. Look how thick this freaking thing is. Damn. But I like that. That's what she said. Okay, let's do this. Let's see how sharp this puppy is. Initial sharpness. Man, I'm getting blinded by the blade. It's reflecting the light. Nice, nice. It doesn't seem as sharp as that BK9 I just tested, but it is close. Ooh, man. I hate trying to, when swedges are too sharp, it's hard to push on them. Man, that is almost sharp, too. That's pretty darn close. Ow. Okay, we're going to have to go like this then. Yeah, it's sharp, but like I said, it's not as sharp as that BK9 I just used. It's actually sharper down here than it is up top. Next, we'll do some hammer stabs, see how this goes. Man, this is probably going to go pretty darn good. Ooh. Ow, damn. Actually, that freaking uh, Kryton actually hurt just a tiny bit. It's like so darn rough. Or maybe it's to, I've done like six freaking knife tests today. Maybe that's what it is. But it does feel a little abrasive. I'm not slipping, but it's abrasive. I guess I would take abrasive over slippage. You know. But it is penetrating really well. One thing I love about clip points, they just sink in awesome. Now let's try a couple downward chops on this beast. Now this is about a six inch piece of red maple. Let's see how this goes. Getting a little squirrely there, Tack. Sorry about that. Man. Definitely got some power, that's for sure. Man, this thing keeps freaking wanting to fall over on me. Oh yeah. Sinking in nicely. No slippage, no friggin' shock, nothing like that. Man, she's biting right in, too. Full flat grinds, man, they work really damn good. So yeah, it's definitely got some chopping power, that's for sure. Whoa! Ten chop test time, let's do this crap. See how this goes. I'll scoop back a little bit like I usually do on this. Serious? Man, I thought I thought I was gonna do a little bit better. Not bad, but huh. I thought I was gonna do better than that. Close up of the destruction. Hmm. Not that impressive, really. I don't know, man. I thought it was going to do a little bit better than that. Not bad. This is a freaking tree. You can see how big this darn tree is compared to my hand. But I just thought it was going to do a little bit better than that. Well, let's baton this mofo. It's about a six-inch piece of red maple. Uh, it does have one big knot on the bottom. Eh, should we go for it? Hey, what the hell? Why not? 
Not that I really want to break a $140 knife, but let's do it. Come on, man, don't make me cry. Don't be breaking on me. Oh, bit right in nicely. Now, I did feel a tiny bit of shock on the bottom of my hand, but maybe I'm just tripping. Let's keep going. Well, okay, maybe not. Wow, damn, that worked good. Man, full flat grinds. I know everybody says, oh, this and that grind works good for batoning. You guys know how much I fucking baton, excuse my French, but man, full flat grinds. They really do the trick when it, wow. They really come, they really do the trick when it comes to batoning. Shit. Okay, let's go even bigger now. This is more than that. And it's got a gigantic freaking knot on the bottom. Man, I don't even know if I should try this. But that went so good. Remember what happened last, last time when I said stuff was going really good and I broke that pot belly? I hope I didn't just jinx myself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, 140 bucks. First time I've used the knife, I don't want to break it. But let's do it. The things I do for you guys. Wow. Even though it didn't go in that easy at first, it still bit right in. Man, oh man. Ow, ow. Boy, this is, ow, son of a. Man, it's doing it though. It's just, oh, holy shit, son of a. Yeah, man, for some reason this Kryton is screwing up my hands. See all the abrasions and stuff, shit. You shouldn't be wearing gloves, Tactical. Shut the hell up. My show. Okay. It's actually doing it, but boy, it's hurting my freaking hand. Yeah, I'm not digging this Kryton for some reason. But boy, it does have the splitting power. Look at that thing just go. Look at this freaking thing. This ain't no joke. Wow. Like nothing. So what do I think about the Trailmaster? A little bit of pluses and minuses. Man, this thing batons freaking awesome totally great at that chopping it was so so stabbing it was awesome it did chop good but this handle eh, it's not as cool as I thought it was well I knew for one the shape is a little odd look how freaking square that thing is and I think that's one of its problems and it was very abrasive lots of traction so you're not gonna slip but very abrasive sorry about the wind so yeah, man, I don't, that handle isn't that great. The blade is pretty awesome. Hmm, I got some mixed emotions about this one. I just tested uh, the BK9 recently, and hmm, I thought this was going to outshine it. Now, I don't want to give too much away because soon I'm going to do a chop off, but eh, I, I won't say any more, but about that. Yeah. Recommend it for the money? Yeah. Definitely strong, definitely thick. It works really well. Would I recommend it? Hell yeah, it would. But that handle is a little bit of a minus. But the sheath is really good too. 1 to 10, I'd probably give this... Man, I thought I was going to give it higher. Probably about 7 three quarters, just to be honest. But there you go. Just an honest review from your Playboy Tech. And as always, it's good to see you guys. And until the next time we meet.